and other companies who want to drill offshore Nova Scotia have long histories of accidents and cutting corners to make more money. Companies will only behave as well as governments require them to, and our government is not regulating offshore drilling to a high standard in an effort to keep Nova Scotia and the people who rely on the ocean safe. They refuse to hold any public hearings. They have not lived up to their election platforms when they said that they would make the environmental assessment process relevant again, where they said that they said this, that governments grant permits, but communities grant permission. Well, BP uh, started in Iran when they uh, discovered oil there 100 years ago, and uh, when they got kicked out of Iran, um, they they, uh, they explored other parts of the world for their for their oil, and, and uh, they have a reputation of being the worst of the worst in terms of safety and um, professional capability. Um, the record would suggest that because they've had some serious accidents, the worst accidents in the world, in fact, have belonged to BP. And they have no intention of changing. Nothing has changed since the Deepwater Horizon catastrophe. And they have no intention of changing because nobody's forcing them to change. Uh, the latest uh, example of that is in 2016 when the Trudeau government legalized a, a very deadly chemical that uh, will damage the fishery, if not wipe it out. It's because the offshore oil industry in Nova Scotia uh, wanted that chemical legalized. It was banned in Canada at the time. If a disaster happens, is our fisheries, our coastal industries, and our tourism. And those are the industries that keep many small, town, small towns in Nova Scotia alive. These are billion dollar industries that provide jobs for people every year, that provide food for people in Nova Scotia and around the world, and are really culturally appropriate jobs that are integrated into our communities. And so I think to risk the fishery, to, to risk any fishery and, uh, and the tourism industry is uh, very, very ill-advised. What we want to see is regulators that work in the best interests of people, not in the best interests of corporations. 